we're asked to convert the given series to sigma notation. Looking at the first three terms, we can tell this is a geometric series. a1 equals 8 and r equals 1 half. Looking at all the terms, we see there's a total of six terms. Because this is a geometric series where r equals 1 half, r can be raised to the power of a variable, which we'll call k in this case. But it doesn't matter which letter we choose for the variable. If we set k as 0 for the first term and multiply 1 half to the power k by 8, we get 8 times 1 half to the power 0, which is equal to 8 for the first term. For term 2, we'll put in 1 for k, so we get 8 times 1 half to the power 1, which is equal to 4. For term 3, we'll put in 2 for k, so we get 8 times 1 half squared, which is equal to 8 times 1 quarter, or 2, which is the correct value for term 3. For term 4, we'll put in 3 for k, so we would get 8 times 1 half cubed, which is equal to 8 times 1 eighth, or 1. If you check, you'll see that for term 5, if k is 4, you would get 1 half as a value for the term, and that for term 6, if k is 5, you would get 1 quarter as a value for the term. Because there are six terms in this series, we know that k can have six possible values, ranging from 0 to positive 5. So this is a correct sigma notation for this series. Be aware that other variations of this may also be correct as long as inserting the possible values of the variable result in the given terms, the sigma notation is correct.